Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in space? Well, today we're taking you on a journey to the International Space Station, the largest human-made object in space. Today, I will tell you a lot of interesting things and even show you a robotic arm at the station, which can be controlled from planet Earth. The IS orbits around the Earth at a speed of about 28,000 kilometers per hour, completing one orbit every 90 minutes. That means astronauts on the ISS see the sun rise and set every 45 minutes. Now let's take a look at the ISS. The station has several modules, each with its own purpose. The first module, called Zaria, was launched in 1998, and since then, the ISS has grown to the size of a small village. It's home to up to six astronauts at a time, who work and live there for months at a time. Since we're talking about housing, let's see where the astronauts live. This is the Zvezda module, which has everything the crew needs to live and work in space, including a kitchen, toilet, sleeping quarters, and a training area. Here's the sleeping compartment, where each astronaut has his own private space. But did you know that they sleep standing up? That's because in the absence of gravity, their bodies don't need a flat surface to rest on. Let's take a look at the hygiene module, where astronauts keep clean and take care of their personal needs. You might be surprised to know that the ISS doesn't have a shower or a bath. Instead, astronauts use wet towels and shampoo that doesn't require rinsing. Next, we move on to the American module, Destiny, which is the primary research laboratory on the ISS. Destiny is home to many experiments that help scientists learn more about life in space and how to better prepare for future space missions. But did you know that the ISS is one of the most expensive scientific projects in history? It cost over $100 billion to build and maintain. Now we will look at the Unity module, which was the first US component of the ISS. It's called Unity because it was designed to connect the American and Russian segments of the ISS. Without Unity, the ISS would not be the international cooperation that it is today. As we continue to fly around the ISS, we see the solar panels that provide power to the station. The solar panels are massive, spanning almost the length of a football field, and they are what allow the ISS to generate electricity in space. Another interesting fact is that the ISS is the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon, making it visible to the naked eye from Earth. Now we have the Japanese module, called Kibo, which means hope in Japanese. Kibo has several components, including a logistics module for storage and equipment, a pressurized module for experiments, and an exposed facility for external experiments. But did you know that the Kibo module has a robotic arm that can be operated from Earth? It's called the JM Remote Manipulator System, or JEMRMS, and it can move payloads around outside the ISS. The European module is called Columbus, named after the explorer Christopher Columbus. The Columbus module has a unique space biolab that studies biological processes in weightlessness. Some interesting experiments conducted in the biolab include studying plant growth in space, the effects of microgravity on cell growth and division, and studying bacteria and viruses in space. These experiments have provided new insights into the behavior of life in space and may have important implications for future space travel and colonization. And this is the Tranquility Module, which was named after the Apollo 11 lunar landing site. Tranquility houses life support equipment for the ISS, including a water recovery system that recycles urine and sweat into potable water. But did you know that Tranquility also has a unique observation deck called Cupola? There are seven windows in the dome that provide a 360-degree view of the space. It also offers a spectacular view of Earth. Astronauts use this module to take stunning photos of our planet and keep an eye out for approaching spacecraft. In fact, there's a lot more to tell about IS. If you give it a thumbs up, I know you like it, and I will make another video where we walk through space, and I will tell you even more amazing things about the IS.